Okay, so this is part two of my sustainability talk. And I choose to make this video outside so we can enjoy uh, the very thing, the nature that uh, the whole fashion and the textile industry basically endangers. So first, uh, in the first part, we were talking about, I am, I was talking, not we. <laughs> I was talking about um, polyester and cotton, the, the two most commonly used uh, fabrics and, um, and the problems that comes with that. So I want to continue on uh, talking about the fabrics. Um, and I want to touch today the fabric group that is considered um, animal, not plant, not synthetic, but animal. Uh, their origins are in animals. So it's uh, wool and silk. And both of them are, in my opinion, the epitome of luxury. The main difference between um, plant fabrics and uh, animal fabrics are in their molecular structure so in in the plant fabrics the the fibers are you know very long thin and um, the the animal they are more like you know like the trees they're more um, I don't even know how to describe but that gives them uh, that luxurious feeling when you touch and yes, yeah, some people are allergic to wool. And wool is the whole kingdom of wool. Same with the silk. There's the wide range of fabrics from rose silk that almost looks like um, burlap to, to satins and um, you know, everything in between from transparent to really heavyweight from taffetas to like, uh, yeah. Uh, so, and wool, well, it of course, it depends from the, you know, what kind of animal, you know, is it llama, is it sheep, is it a camel? So it produces a different kind of wool. And also the process, how you process you can get you know the wool feeling almost like a silk and of course there are a wide range of silk wool blends that is and if you add mohair or angora i i cannot think about more luxurious fabrics than those two and of course they are expensive and of course not everybody can afford it um, this wide range, you know, of, I'm not going into geopolitical and economical and all that issues. Right now I'm just talking, you know, sustainability. And, you know, if we don't, if we take a fast fashion out of equation, so probably it would be enough because there's we, none none of the you know fabrics except for synthetic fabrics you can you know like polyester you can do day and night and still you know it's uh, its origin it's in petroleum so it's also you know some finite in everything it, it is but those two they can provide enough fabric for the fast fashion uh, you cannot have fast fashion from wool and silk no you can't and why i i am telling and i'm thinking that this is the more more sustainable you know fabrics because um it's an animal and animal it takes less space than a plant and the animal grows fiber faster than a plant. Um, 
say my you know my hair and my nails they're going faster then not, well not in oil you know okay <laughs> that's a bad example because I looked you know and that plant and that plant like grew up that much overnight so okay okay but you know the the plants that we are using for for the for their fiber and making that into the fabric so those uh, grow slower and they take much more land that could be used in you know growing food or you know for some other purposes um for wildlife whatever so you know the plant based it uses like cotton it uses a lot a lot of land the you know the sheep well yeah you have to but that's way less you know land per say yard of fabric i just invented the measure but you know you get the idea um and the animal like uh, you know the the fabric coming from the living creature it's in their structure it's kind of like our you know our hair skin and everything so it's it feels more natural on on our skin and it like it regulates uh heat cold much better um you can dye them with uh natural dyes you don't need to go to the same with the you know same with the cotton don't you know all the natural fabrics they they can be dyed naturally they require much less drastical process as well dyeing or, or or printing than say polyester viscose you know those you know man-made it's synthetic and man-made we will go into man-made which is rayon viscose all those fabrics um the the synthetics the, the main group is nylon polyester and uh, acrylic okay cover and uh, you know the sweater from acrylic will never you know compare in you know warmth and uh, you know the feeling how it feels against your skin how it regulates you know the, the warmth you know the temperature protection everything it will never compare to the same wall and um, yeah so that's that is that about I could go on and on and on talking about the silk alone uh, when I was in uh, in in technical university in Lithuania studying textile um, our professor for fibers he was absolutely mesmerized and in love with the silk. So the lecture of silk felt more like, you know, 1000 nights than, you know, than the lecture in a university. Um, but um, silk has antibacterial qualities. Silk you know when silk fibers it's a very very specific sound you can you can go into a store and actually you know grab the piece of the silk and kind of scrunch against your ear and it will sound like you know walking in a fresh snow it has that none of the fabrics none the polyester can mimic the silk to the t in appearance and you will never get this you know the sound out of it and of course it's not it doesn't have any anti antimicrobial uh, qualities but that sound on your body eh, especially if you have like nightgown uh, if you have uh, silk um, the words just escaping me silk sheets uh, so that calms your nerves and it helps you 
fall asleep. It keeps your body cool uh, through, through the night. Um, I bought myself a silk duvet. Oh my God, it's the best thing. It's like, it's cool in the, in the summer. It's warm in the winter. It's like, it's magic. Okay, so now I am turning, you know, the, the spirit of my professor open, you know, speaks to me, but that's what silk is. And um, so, you know, if you have a wardrobe, like well taught, in a quality, you know, invested in a quality garment, and, and you don't feel the need to go every day you know with a different outfit like forever or for a week those are affordable you know they that would be much cheaper than say go and buy a gazillion of it items and sheen oh my god don't even i touch you know the team i don't want to even talk about but you know, somewhere in H&M, Zara, whatever, it will cost, you know, those cheap quality items will cost you much more uh, because nobody cares. You know, they are produced like, you know, you you bake a cookies, you put in a cookies more than, you know, in there. It's just, you know, they are like stamped. Nobody cares about the fit. Nobody cares, you know, what kind of, you know, thread you use for the seams. Nobody cares. Nobody expects you to wear it more like a couple of washes. Uh, because after the first and second wash, they, they look like, you know, they look like you could wash the, the floor with them in many cases. You know, nobody cares uh, about know the color nobody cares about you know how comfortable they are they're just you know all oh, the trend change you know this week it's not trendy anymore like i told you you know trendy stylish it's very two different things and many clothes less clothes and you will be more satisfied with less and quality clothes then you know plenty of i cannot you know they 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 are those you know um uh, holes that's what they call you know they order you know boxes and boxes of you know cheap clothes uh and then you know takes it out you know you won't be not happy with a box box full of whatever i promise you i promise you I was there, there. I thought, you know, that I cannot afford. So I was only dressing in a fast fashion. And then, you know, I changed, you know, the quality is the quality. And the less we produce, the less water is used, the less everything. Um, I think I'm going to stop here because if I start the next, you know, like labor all that it's the whole you know i can i can talk about that forever but sustainability is not only you know what and how we produce it's also who produces how they are compensated are they a slave are they treated with respect are they you know starving are they not because that's the next step. That's the energy. That's completely different topic. It's the energy of your clothes have. And it's, believe me, it's a huge difference to dress in a low energy clothes and in a high energy. High, okay, energy, vibration. Although for me, you know, vibration and energy, it's very interchangeable things. Okay, so that's all for today. And I will see you soon.